Every day, I wake up, I eat a healthy breakfast, I take an ice cold shower, and I go for a run. Because you see, I'm an entrepreneur, which is not only a difficult word to spell, but it's also a difficult lifestyle to maintain. Consistently grinding and striving for success, and constantly charging my Tesla. Bro, what the heck? Get out of my garage. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I, uh, I don't have a Tesla. Now even though I'm constantly grinding and striving for greatness, without a Tesla, will I ever truly be a happy, successful entrepreneur? I don't think so. But lucky for me, I think I found a loophole. It's honestly quite simple. The most successful entrepreneur doesn't buy Teslas, he builds them. So since there's no way I could actually afford to purchase a Tesla, I'm just gonna build one too. But of course there's one massive problem. I don't know anything about building cars. In fact, the only car I ever built was made out of garbage, had horrible steering, had no motor, and on top of that, it didn't have any brakes. So I really had no idea where to start. All I know about Teslas is that they're electric cars, so I'm gonna need an electric motor. Now I didn't know what I was looking for and there were way too many options, so eventually I just decided to get something and hope that it worked out. Yeah. The day had finally arrived and so did the package containing the electric motor. It was time for me to open this up, be thoroughly confused, and realize that I bit off way more than I could chew. So there was like a thousand wires, a bunch of components, don't even get me started on the directions. They made no sense at all, but they were nice enough to label all the wires in Mandarin. So yeah, I was totally lost. And the only thing to do when you're lost is to try to get unlost by... I don't know, just by trying to figure it out, I guess, which is kind of what I did here. I just did the old trial and error until I figured out where everything went. Okay, so two problems. I can't test this because I have no way to plug this into the battery, and this battery doesn't have enough power. Because this system requires 48 volts, and this is only a 12 volt battery. So I had to go to the store and get myself four brand new 12 volt batteries. So according to the internet, I've got to hook all these batteries up in series to give me a 48 volt battery, whatever that means. So I'm just gonna say, I was 100% certain I was gonna fry this motor by hooking everything up the wrong way. So when this happened, I was stoked. Yo! What's it? I was proud to say that I now have a working electric motor. Now I just need like a whole car. So not only do I have to build like the whole top part of the car, but I'm gonna need wheels and I'm gonna need an axle. Now I can probably just order the axle and wheels online. So I found the cheapest axle and pair of wheels I could possibly find and still managed to blow my entire budget. And while I wait for all that to come in the mail, I gotta start building the frame. So I didn't exactly have material to build a car lying around in my garage, but I did have some lumber, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna be enough. But luckily I knew where I could get a lot more lumber and it wouldn't cost me a dime. Yo, I need What's to that? take apart the room. No, I need the lumber. This is my house, man. No way. It's for a Tesla. A Tesla? Yeah, so basically I built this super cool secret hideout disguised as trash, but now everybody knows what it looks like, so it's not really doing me any good. I don't really want to take it apart, but part of being an entrepreneur is making difficult decisions, and I knew that this thing had some quality lumber that I could use for my Tesla. Once I was done taking it all apart, I was pretty sure I had enough, which was pretty sick. All I had to do now was wait for the axle and wheels to come in the mail. Entrepreneurship is definitely fun. You get to unbox cool stuff, but let me tell you, it is not all fun and get- Oh my goodness, I almost just cut my toe off. Sorry, I'm making a sandwich and I just dropped the butter knife, but yeah, it definitely has a downside. For example, not only did they send me the wrong wheels, but this is literally missing everything. My progress was stunted, my success was delayed, I had to literally reorder everything. Man. Entrepreneurship is hard, and I am totally exhausted. Okay, that was totally unnecessary, but at least I got my wheels. But as for the axle, that's a different story.
They literally sent me an empty box. I thought that felt pretty light. This was ridiculous. Sabotage. A personal attack from one entrepreneur to another. Once again, I was stuck waiting and I was stuck having no idea what to do. I don't even know where to start. I just want to be successful so I can be happy. Is that too much to ask for? Man, this is exhausting. What seems to be troubling you, my child? I'm trying to build a Tesla, but I don't know how. Oh, hold on. Alright, what's up? I'm trying to build a Tesla, but I don't know what I'm doing. Well, you're in luck. Red unlocks the secrets of entrepreneurship. In blue... You don't want blue, but I must warn you... Okay. Okay. I just feel like no one ever lets me finish what I'm saying. Yo! Yo, dude, remember me? Yeah. So you're having trouble starting a business, huh? Well, trouble building a Tesla. Well, look no further, because now starting an online business is easier and more affordable than ever. Cool, but that's not what so I... So Shopify, as you know, is the best place to start, grow, and manage an online business. Right, I did that. Well, now Shopify made it even easier with their new starter plan. Right on. But do you happen to have a blueprint for a Tesla? A blueprint for success? Absolutely. How much do you think it costs to get started with Shopify? Dude, I don't know. I don't really want to... No, no, no. Guess how much their starter plan is. Come on, guess. I don't know. Look, 100 bucks? Five. 500 bucks? Five dollars. Oh. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. What, is, is, is this video sponsored or something? Yeah, by Shopify. Nice. So like $5 and I'm good to go. Yeah, and you can build a simple store with no code setup. And it gives you everything you need to sell across major social platforms. So just click the link in the description? Yeah. All right, cool. Sounds good. Wait a second. Did you happen to have a the... blueprint for a Tesla? All right, I gotta stop falling asleep because this is getting weird. But you know, maybe that guy was trying to tell me something. I should never give this up. I should never let this down. I don't know what I'm doing, sure. But did I know what I was doing when I made that toothbrush or that sock sword or that electric scooter out of garbage? No, but I did it anyway. And I know that the only way to fail is to give up. And I want a Tesla way too bad to give up. So it was time to get to work. And once my axle came in the mail, I finally had everything I needed to build this Tesla once and for all. And thus began the construction of the coolest Tesla that was ever going to exist. And at this point, ah, this song is so good. It's so catchy. I can't even concentrate. It's honestly like my favorite song. But anyway, things were really starting to come together. Okay, okay, okay. Sick. Things were starting to heat up. Dude, wake up. Oh, embarrassing. So yeah, things were starting to heat up and this Tesla was starting to look more and more like a car every minute. There was a spot for me to sit. I built a cool bucket for the electronics and the batteries, but there was still one thing that this Tesla needed front wheels. And I knew right where I could get a couple wheels. This old golf cart caddy thing. So you'll never believe where I found this. I was just taking a nice walk through the neighborhood, minding my own business and such, and I walked past some trash cans and I saw this thing just sitting there next to the trash cans. Somebody must have thrown it out thinking it was a bad cart, but it's a perfectly good cart. But it was in the garbage can and that's the story I'm going with. These wheels were going to be perfect. They were lightweight, they looked really cool, but as soon as I got them off the cart, caddy thing, I was of course faced with yet another problem. Okay, so remember when I said I didn't know anything about building cars? Well, one of the most important parts of a car is the steering. Now, most cars have steering wheels, but building a working steering wheel assembly requires a level of mechanical intelligence that I don't I don't, even know, I don't even know where I was going with that sentence. Bottom line is, I was confused, and I knew it was about to be a long night trying to figure out this steering situation. I was easily using like 100% of my brain power trying to figure this out. This was by far the most difficult build I have ever made. I'm like on the verge of a breakthrough. I can feel it. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I'm just I'm so close. But I wasn't giving up that easy. It was time to draw up some plans. Because sometimes putting stuff on paper honestly just really helps. Like this. See? I figured it out. Foot steering. Yeah, see? Foot steering. Genius. Sometimes I still impress myself. Using some wood from the secret room, the tires from the golf caddy cart thing, and some other trash I had lying around the garage, I was able to make a pretty impressive front axle and steering column. 
Okay, the front axle is officially on there. It's looking pretty crazy, but will it work? Well, there's only one way to find out. Push it down a hill really fast. Actually, steering works pretty well. And it was honestly really fun until I realized that I forgot brakes. Oh God, there's no brake! Oh my God! What? <laughs> All right, overall, that was a success. I definitely need brakes. All right, now we got brakes. So now I need a seat because this is very uncomfortable, but I already blew my budget on everything else, so it's time to go looking for some trash. So I hit the streets and found literally nothing for like a while. Where's everybody's trash? Come on! Nobody throws things out in this neighborhood! But just when I was about to go back home, I found a bunch of stuff. I literally found a trash gold mine. Might have found something here. And ultimately found a perfect chair for my Tesla. We got ourselves a seat! I brought the chair back to the garage, and after a few modifications, I had myself a very comfortable seating arrangement. But when I started to hook up the motor, I realized that I made a very big mistake. I'm not gonna be able to use the foot pedal for the acceleration if I'm steering with my feet. Yep, another long night of chasing these problems around. But you know, part of being an entrepreneur is being able to adapt to problems, especially if those problems are caused by your own negligence, kind of like they are here for, for me. But uh, as you can see, I, I took a little accountability and, and, and I'm, fi I'm fixing the problem. We officially have handlebars. I'm really sweaty, I'm really tired. I gotta go to bed. It was a fresh day, a fresh shirt, a fresh perspective. Same socks, same socks. Uh, subscribe so I can buy more socks. But yeah, the construction of my Tesla was just about complete and it was finally time to test out the motor. All right, here we go. I did it. Man, I was so proud of this thing. I gotta show this to my buddy Elon. What? How could he? You know what? No. I'm gonna prove him wrong, and I'm gonna prove him wrong right to his face. And the only way to prove him wrong would be to finally finish my Tesla and have a good old-fashioned race. My Tesla versus a real Tesla. But before I do that, I haven't even actually tried this thing out yet, so I should probably just race against a regular car. But not only that, I'm gonna race against a man who's traveled across the entire country in just about every vehicle imaginable. You could say he's a professional driver. Oh, and also, this is a story of revenge. Hi, right, Jake, you ready to lose? What is this, dude? I built a working Tesla, I won the race, and I got my revenge. But more importantly, I learned something. I've been chasing success this entire time just so I can be happy. But the truth is, as long as I get to keep building cool stuff and do the things that I love to do, I'm already happy. And to me, that is success. But that doesn't change the fact that I still really want to race a real Tesla. Jake is toast. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh my word! What the? What is? What was that? No! What the? No, I'm not even in the car, Jake. I'm not even in the car yet. What is this? This is garbage. Take that, Elon! I did it. That's all I got.